All right, HDR. If you ever try to color grade HDR footage, you know how frustrating it can be. In order to do so on a computer, you have to have an HDR monitor and those cost thousands of dollars, so most people don't have them. Luckily, most people now carry an HDR monitor around in their pocket. That's right, most smartphones are HDR displays, meaning you can color grade HDR on your phone. Problem is there aren't really any professional color grading apps in order to do so. And if you use a program like the iMovie app, you're gonna have to use filters and the iMovie filters kinda suck. Luckily, there's one app that is the king of all filters and that is Visco, the visual supply company app actually allows you to color grade HDR footage. And what's pretty neat about it is it allows you to copy and paste adjustments between clips right in your Photos app on your phone. That means you don't have to duplicate footage. You can do it right within the Visco app and you go back into your photo library and it has been color graded and you're good to go. So let's open up Visco and get started. So I'm gonna open up the Visco app on my phone and it's as easy as selecting a clip from my camera roll, clicking edit on the bottom left. And then I'm gonna be presented with a series of options, the infamous Visco filters. Now there's quite a few of these and they have a few different options here, all presets. I can go to my favorites, recent, warm, cool, vibrant, black and white, portrait, nature, and urban. So I'm gonna choose one from my favorites and I'm gonna choose the KC25. This one's imitating that classic Kodachrome look. If I click on it, I can adjust the strength of the edit. And if I just tap on the video here, it's just, it's just gonna play through. And if I tap on it, I can see the before and after. If I go to the character, I can change some features here make it a little cooler or warmer, whatever that character is unique to each filter. Adjust the warmth, make it a little warmer or cooler. I'm gonna click OK on the bottom right. And then after I apply a filter, I can edit this further. If I click on the little edit button on the uh, right of the filter button, I can change the speed, reverse the clip, adjust the exposure, maybe turn that down just a tad, go into the contrast, bring the contrast up just a tad, play with the saturation, maybe bring that saturation up just a little bit. There's also highlights and shadows I can adjust in here. I can change the white balance, skin tones, give it a little bit of a vignette, fade it a little bit, that classic faded look. Split tone if I want to. I can go into the hue, saturation, and lightness, and I can change this for individual colors. If I click green, for instance, I can change the hue of those trees to make them more orange, yellowish. I can desaturate them as well. Go into the yellows, make them a little bit more orange. Bring down the saturation. I can trim the clip, I can adjust the volume, and I can place some text on it too. And there's also a few effects here which I can apply a VHS effect, I can go into the glitch effect, kaleidoscope effect, play around with those. And if I want to, I can edit this recipe and I can use it in future edits, which is really cool. Now when I'm done, I'm just gonna go to the next on the top right and I'm gonna save this to my camera roll. And now this is gonna render this clip out. This is gonna take just a few minutes, but actually this process is pretty quick comparatively if you were to render a clip out using a program on your computer like Final Cut Pro. Now I'm going to allow Visco to modify this video. And I can see it here in my camera roll. I'm gonna select it. Now what's really cool is I can copy and paste adjustments for multiple clips. So I'm gonna go into the three ellipses in the bottom right, the more. I'm gonna copy those edits, and then I can paste those edits on a different clip that I select. 
going to more, pasting those edits. And then this is going to render those edits out for each clip that I paste onto. This is just gonna take a few minutes. Once again, I'm gonna allow Visco to modify this video and it's gonna save it to my camera roll. So I did record this video in HDR using the iPhone 12 Pro's Dolby Vision technology, and I did use Visco to color grade it. So let me know what you think about this process, and if you have a favorite filter in Visco, let me know in the comments below.